Mr. Armani, he's feeling the softer side of the season as well, with this very romanticized idea, this very bohemian idea, this world traveler. It's classic Armani. He mixes kind of tradition and old with brand new and kind of innovation. Beautiful movement. My eye is so attracted right now when I see fluidity. And I love that Mr. Armani, who is known for his tailoring, certainly took the idea of that fluidity, that long and languid silhouette, and paired it back to the more rigid ideas that he likes in a tailored jacket. But when there's something that's with it that flows, it just feels more relevant for the moment. And I think that's how women want to dress as we go into the spring season. My favorite pieces in the collection were these long fringe dresses and skirts, you know, fringe on every runway. We generally are seeing it in suede. He did it in a silk fringe and topped a little crop jacket. There was a pattern that was actually inspired by stones, but it actually looked to me like a giraffe pattern because it followed a lot of python prints as well. But I thought that that kind of swing and sway of fringe that was underneath all those great little crop jackets was beautiful. And an interesting pant, a wide pant, that he then took a little bias detail that almost kind of cupped it under like a lantern that was at the hem, but always transparent. You know, transparency on many, many runways, chiffon, organza, everywhere this season. And he played with that whole sensibility of transparency throughout the entire collection. Loved in the finale, absolutely gorgeous, again in shades of sand, and they just dropped to beautiful handkerchief hemlines to just swayed as the models walked by. I think that there were dresses in there that you already know you're going to see on the red carpet. Like, you know Angelina's going to wear one, you know Halle Berry's going to wear one. The finale dress, which was kind of like a sand dune princess moment, you know, with uh, the veil and the barefoot. I could see Lady Gaga wearing that to the Grammys. <laughs>